border violation of fishermen is a huge burden for both Sri Lanka and India. Giving them a device to recognize the border will solve the problem. So, we are a team from University of Morotua who take up the challenge to build this device. Suppose B1 and B2 are random points located on the border between Sri Lanka and India. And P1 is the location given by GPS sensor and P2 is a point, a known point located on the land. Uh, the ratio between P1O and P2O is K21. We can have the equation of line B1 and B2 like this. For S of use, let's consider it like an equation like this. We can obtain the coordinates of point O like this by sub because of the location O is located in the line B1 and B2, it satisfies this equation. By substitute its coordinate to this equation, we can have like this. And we can have a value for the K by solving this. By considering this K's value, we can decide whether the P1 is located inside the boundary or outside the boundary. If case values is greater than zero, the our given point P1 is located outside the boundary and the case values is less than zero, it will be located inside the boundary. Suppose this is the location given by the GPS sensor and this is the border between Sri Lanka and India and we can model this border by using a staircase function like this. All these locations coordinates are stored in a speaker. By starting from a crossing point, we try to find a upper and lower bound for the y coordinates of this point. And suppose we can't find such a upper, and low, upper or lower bound for its y coordinates and it means this point is located outside the boundary. Suppose we can have both upper and lower bounds for this location so y coordinates and then we try to find the upper bound and lower bound for the x coordinates of this point in a similar manner. Suppose we can't find the upper or lower bound for the x coordinates of this point and again it will be located outside the boundary and if we can find both upper and lower bounds for the x coordinate of this point it will be located inside the boundary. Hello friends, uh, I am going to do the hardware description of our project. This is MSP430, which is manufactured by Texas Instrument, which is the control grid of all the other parts in our circuit. And this is GPS receiver. Uh, first, we were intended to use CC4000 sensor by Texas Instruments. Since we didn't receive it, we use another local one. And here is the SD card. In this SD card, we stored all the coordinates of the border of border between Sri Lanka and India. And here are the alarms. Uh, this is audible alarm and this is the visible alarm. The reason due to providing two alarms is uh, in, a, in a noisy environment like sea, the fishers may didn't hear the audible alarm. So we provide the visible alarm also. And uh, here is the battery charging unit. We use a solar panel and a battery charging circuit for in our battery charging unit. And this is the power supply unit which supplies the power of the battery to our circuit which, uh, which divide to 3.3 volts and 5 volts. And this controls the hardware description of our project. Let's meet with the demonstration. Thank you. Hello guys. Now we are going to do our video demonstration. Here I have our finalized product. As you can see, there are visible alarm and also audible alarm. Also you can see our GPS receiver. 
first thing we need to do is take three points two points as a border and one point as a fixed point on the land let's take this tree as the first point which is the fixed point on the border on the land let's take that tree as the second point which is the first point on the border also that tree as the third point which is the second point on the border Let's take three coordinates of these three points. Here you can see we are taking GPS reading of point 3. We can take GPS reading from other two points as same as here.